Good morning everyone. This is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to um, a new class that I'm starting this month. I'm actually doing uh, once a month paper pumpkin alternatives with the current month's kit. I'm just going to give it a few more seconds. I can see everybody coming on. Hi Rhonda. Hi Diane. Welcome everyone. Okay, we're going to get started. So for those of you that have received your kit already, I'm still going to go through and show everybody what was in our kit. This month it's all about calendars. And let me open up the kit. So this month we received two stamping spots, Pool Party and Grapefruit Grove. The stamp set and let me get a piece of white here so we can see what the stamp set so it's a lot of geometrical uh, images we have a couple sentiments and I'm going to be using that today inside the box is the calendar and I'm not going to open this one because this is one of my spare boxes that I have for sale if any, anyone's interested just let me know so the calendar is actually an 18 month calendar the calendar pages look like this and a lot of people were confused that they received um, two months on some of the months. That's because this is an 18 month calendar. So make sure when you put them in order that you're putting the right months. Um, like if you have two for June, make sure, cause it doesn't tell you on here if it's 2019 or 2020. Now, along with this, we received some white twine, some pretty, pool party ribbon now this ribbon always comes all bumpy and wrinkled like this and what I normally do is dig out my flat iron and I just run it through my flat iron so see how quick and that just gets really nice and flat for you so let me put this aside I am going to use that with one of the cards um, so what else is in here? We have some sticky labels. Those were made to be stamped with the geometrical shapes and then added to the top of each calendar, but we're not going to do that today. And then a bunch of some little tags. One can go with the box as a gift and then you can use these ones for other, other reasons or other gifts. So let me start out with, I'm going to do three projects with you today. Let me dig out what I need for the first one. Now I'm using the Gingham Gala paper. This is going to be available to everybody on January 3rd. It comes in a package of five different colors. And when you flip the paper over, it's the smaller Gingham squares. Now, that comes in Balmy Blue, Daffodil Delight, Grapefruit Grove, Highland Heather, and Lemon Lime Twist. So the Gingham, the Gingham is very popular right now. So I love the colors and I love the paper. So for this card, I'm bringing in the Pop of Petals. I'm going to be using one of the flower images. And then I have a little itty bitty greeting from the itty bitty greeting stamp set, which says happy birthday. This is a 2K set. Classic label punch. Grapefruit Grove ink. This is the punch that goes with the stamp set, the four petal flower punch. And I'm also using the leaf punch. So if you guys don't have all of these uh, same punches, you can substitute with something close. My card base is Grapefruit Grove, 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. Now you've probably seen a lot of people are making cards with their, their banners and that's what I'm going to be doing today. This is the gold foil, which measures five and a quarter by four. The gingham paper measures five by three and three quarters. So let me glue those in place. Oops, that one's empty. 
so I'm going to try to do this class on the last Monday of each month. And you'll notice that I <clears throat> have set myself up for 10 o'clock in the morning Eastern time. I <clears throat> discovered that I am working too much doing classes at night and then working all day. So I'm going to try to do more morning classes and try to stick to some regular normal uh, working hours. Now, this is the April um, calendar. I'm not using the calendar. I wanted to go with the color at the top to coordinate with the card. And what I want to do is bring in the paper trimmer and I'm going to cut just barely over to the hole and cut each side off. I want to make this smaller so that the, the gingham paper will show up. And I'm also going to cut off a half an inch at the top. So look how nice and small that is. Now this is going to go up here. And because I'm doing the month, I am actually using the calendar. This is the month that my mom's birthday will take place. So I'm going to bring in the little circle stamp. Her birthday is on April 18th. So I'm going to stamp the 18. So you can do this with any of the months. I'm going to add stamping dimensionals. And I didn't want to cover up this pretty paper. That's why I chose to cut this a lot smaller than how they came in the kit. And I'm going to glue this down at an angle. So isn't that cute? I'm going with the monochromatic theme here. Now I'm going to stamp two flowers. Now what I've done with my stamps on this set, as you can see, where did I go with my stamp set? You have five different flowers here. They're all shaped the same, but the petals are different. So what I did when I figured out which direction the flower coordinates with the punch, I added an arrow to the foam part of it to know to stamp the flower stamp uh, upwards this way. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp two. Uh, let me see, I still need the ink. So now when I bring in my punch, I don't have to mess with trying to figure out which direction I need to, to punch the flowers. It lines up perfectly. And I wanted to do flowers because it's my mom's birthday. I wanted to make it more of a feminine feel to the card. So I'm going to add that right here. And then I'm gonna turn this one and then pop it up a little bit. So there's my flower. Now I'm going to punch a few of the leaves with the leaf punch. This is pear pizzazz. And then I've got vellum cardstock. So two of each. And then I'm just going to add glue to the stem and tuck those in under the flower. Let's see, I'm gonna tuck one right here. Make sure I don't cover up my calendar. And I'm gonna, going to stack the vellum on top of the pear pizzazz. And lastly on this card, I'm going to stamp the happy birthday on Whisper White. And I'm going, going to go really close to the left side. And I wanna make this a lot shorter, so I'm going to actually take this Put it back inside the punch hole and see how I shorten that up. 
and then we'll add a few mini dimensionals. So doesn't this make a pretty card for those of you that really don't care to do up the calendar? I'm sure you have someone in each month that you can make this calendar for or this card for. So there's card number one. Let me move this over. So pretty simple, three layers, a shortened banner, and then a cluster of flowers and leaves. So let me move on to card number two. Now I've gone ahead and pre-cut a lot of my supplies for this card, but I'll show you what I used. So the stamp set I'm using on this one is, actually not the stamp set, I'm using the dies that go with the colorful seasons. I've gone ahead and cut the leaves. So I've got one of the detail leaves with Daffodil Delight, two of the smaller leaves with Bermuda Bay, and the largest leaf with Coastal Cabana. And I've gone ahead and embossed, I hope you can see this, this is one of the new embossing folders that you'll find in the Occasions catalog starting January 3rd. This is the dot to dot. Let me see if I can put a cardstock underneath so you guys can see the detail. So that's what this one looks like. So that'll be in the Occasions catalog. We actually have two new embossing folders. The other one is called Lace. And that's what this one looks like. I just thought I'd show that to you. And for this card, I'm starting out with Basic Black. And that's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, folded in half. Coastal Cabana, four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to go ahead and glue that in place. And that's just going to go right on the card front. And then I'm using, this is January, I wanted some yellow to go with my Daffodil Delight leaf. But before I glue it on, I'm going to thread the ribbon through. I love this ribbon, I wish we could buy it. And I'm going to make a bow. Now, let me just shorten up my loops a little bit and trim the ends. So there's my bow and that's going to go right on the card front using stamping dimensionals. And Linda is saying she loves using the calendar pages for birthday cards. I just think it's great. Every, everyone feels so special on their, their birthday that it's great to have the calendar with their date circled right in front of them. Now look how pretty the yellow is against the Coastal Cabana and the Basic Black. I just love that. So now this one I'm not using as a calendar. I've gone ahead and embossed and cut this square. And this was with the square, um, the stitch shaped uh, frameless dies. So I'm going to glue that and it's going to fit perfectly over the January. My brother might not like that because his birthday is in January. Now I want to add the largest leaf and then I'm going to add the Daffodil Delight leaf. And next, I'm going to bring in, let me see, one of the geometrical shapes with Bermuda Bay ink. 
I just wanted to add a little bit of dimension to the leaves, so I'm just going to stamp. And I'll see if you can see that on camera. So I'm just adding a little bit of the image to the leaves themselves. Then we'll add some glue. And let me see. I don't have these made up ahead of time, so I'm kind of just going by the seat of my pants here. Okay, so we'll add the two leaves there. Now, what did I have planned for my sentiment? I think I was going to do another birthday card on this one. So we'll use the same sentiment. No, actually, I wanted to use the hello. Where did my hello go? Okay, here's my little hello. That's the set that came with the paper pumpkin. I thought I was organized this morning, but I'm not. Now this one, I'm going to um, go right to the end and then leave it flat right here. because I'm just going to tuck this in anyway. Okay, and there's card number two. How quick was that? And I love adding the ribbon to the top like that. Okay, let me set up for card number three. Oh, and just a reminder, today's my last day for the month of December. This is the door prize. Anyone that places an order, uh, you'll be entered into the drawing. And then starting tomorrow for January, this will be the door prize, the Hello Cupcake, which is a celebration um, stamp set that you can start earning for free. Okay, card number three, or actually project number three is not going to be a card. Let me see. Now for this one, I'm using it as a gift card holder. And for inks, I've got Coastal Cabana. Pineapple Punch and Poppy Parade. I'm using three of the uh, geometrical images. And then I'm bringing the Happy Birthday uh, sentiment in from the Perennial Birthday Set. And I've got two of the cards with the Coastal Cabana cover uh, color at the top. Now, I wanted to show you the difference between the white in the kit and the Whisper White that's stamping up. It's totally different. So I wanted to cover this, but I didn't like the fact that the white wasn't the same. Ours is so much brighter. So I flipped one of the calendars over and used the white. And this measures three and three quarter by two and a half. I've got scraps of Coastal Cabana, Pineapple Punch, and Poppy Parade. And then a Coastal Cabana for my sentiment. And then I have a little piece of tissue paper. I'll show you what I'll do with that. And the first thing I'm going to do is use tear and tape. And I'm making a gift card holder with this one. Oh, and on January 2nd, um, if you are part of, or if you like the Paper Pumpkin Stamping Up page, I will have three more projects featured there. And one is a 3D item like this one. I can't remember what time they're going live, but a bunch of us demonstrators submitted some projects for you guys. Okay, I'm removing the backing. And the reason I covered the calendar, I wanted it to be white on the back. So now let's see if we can line this up perfectly. Okay. And then with the white, I'm going to use the Coastal Cabana and the Pumpkin, um, Pineapple Punch, not Pumpkin. I'm going to stamp and just fill this up with images. And I am stamping without re-inking. 
Now I'll use the pineapple punch. Let's see, we'll do two more. And then we've got this cute little, it reminds me of confetti. I'll do the poppy parade with that one. Now I don't want it to be too bright, so I'm going to actually stamp off. So this is a stamp image you could use over and over, the confetti part of it. Okay, so there's my little designer paper. I made my own designer paper. And before I glue this in place, I am going to show you how I cut the border from the ribbon border punch. Now, when I when I cut the this punch shape, I like both of my ends to end up the same way. So I always start in the middle. And this is one of those punches where you have to move it over and line up with the image. Now to the other side. So I've got two of those, and those are actually going to go on each side of my stamped layer. And then we're going to add this to the top or the center of the banner itself. Make sure to cover the letters. And then this is where the ribbon comes in. And on another project that I did, I noticed that if you tie a knot three times on the end, it'll be fat enough not to come through the hole. So we'll see if I'm, if this works on this project. I can get it through the hole. Okay, so see there's three and it does stay there. And this is the last of my ribbon. I'm going to make a little handle. And let's see, I want my knot about there. So I think I have enough for one more card on this. A small bow. Okay, now my scissors. Okay, so that makes a cute little handle. Let me loosen this one just a tad. And next, I'm going to use the balloon bouquet punch. And I'm using coordinating colors to the inks that you saw me use. So Poppy Parade, Pineapple Punch, and Coastal Cabana. And before I do that, I'm actually going to use the Poppy Parade and add the sentiment. Now, where did my twine go? Right here. I'm going to add a glue dot to each balloon just to add the twine. So this one has a few more steps to it, but it's pretty quick to assemble. And I have two more projects just that are already complete that I'll show you after I'm done with this one. Now, stamping dimensionals, where did you go? Right here, I'll have to dig out a new sheet. I'm going to add one to each balloon. So 
So there's my balloons. And then what I will do here, I have this little bow that I made. I'm just going to roll a glue dot in my fingers. so that I can glue the ribbons in place. And then I'll roll one more to add the bow to the top. And then lastly, I have this little tissue paper that I'm just going to crumble up. Whoops. I'm going to just push that through with the bone folder. And then you can take the gift card and just slide that in there. Okay, so there's project number three. So using two of the banners, how easy and how convenient to use as a gift card holder. So there's my three projects that I've made with you today. And let me show you these. Um, I actually, this one was on my blog last week. This was a card and another uh, treat holder, but this one I used two banners, scored at uh, a quarter of an inch on each side and then layered them together. So you could actually put a flat treat in there and another gift card if you want. The reason I featured the animal antics on here is because that's going to be featured on, as part of our January kit that comes. So these were for a blog hop. And my last card, you guys get to see a sneak peek. It hasn't gone on my blog yet. I actually took the one of the banners. I don't have one close by. What I did on this one is I scored at one inch at the top turned it on the white side and then flipped over so the colored side peeked through. And then I threaded the ribbon and glued the flap down. And then I just stamped. Um, and, and for this one, the little glasses come from the Pocket of Sunshine stamp set. So there's a whole bunch of ideas for you. Um, and make sure you tune in to the Paper Pumpkin Stamping Up Facebook page for their live show. They should be announcing that soon. And you'll see even more projects. So thanks so much for stopping by, everyone. I am going to be doing this once a month on the last Monday of each month at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Have a good day, everyone, and Happy New Year. See you tomorrow night for Techniques Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Bye-bye.